Here it is again. Hello, this is Juan from Juan.tv. Today I'm going to be answering a question from email. If you have any questions, just send them to me via email. All you have to do is email me at help at Buona.tv and just ask a question. And most of these questions I can simply reply to and I'm kind of behind. I can just reply to via email, but some of these questions are, are good enough and easily explainable so I can do it on the video. You know, some of you guys have questions like, I did this, how do I fix it? You know, I can't really answer that in the video without knowing more details. But, you know, general questions I can generally answer. Two generals in one sentence. This one comes by way of Tucker. He wants to know. Tucker wants to know. He says, do you broadcast Team Fortress 2, which is a game I like to play and broadcast live, at live.blender.tv, uh, in a window or full screen? If you do run it full screen, then how? So, Mr. Tucker, Team Fortress 2, I do broadcast it often, although lately I've been doing more consoles. But I did broadcast it like almost every other night. Um, and my setup is not your typical setup. I know a lot of people use screen capture software to uh, basically capture their screen and, uh, and broadcast it that way. I have a more hardware related solution, which is why I'm able to get a little bit more faster frames, a little bit more uh, of a better look. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you because I'm streaming live now. In order to show you, I have to unplug everything, which I'm not going to do. But let me try to talk you through it and uh, hopefully you can visualize it. What I'm doing is, okay, I have a video card on my PC. It's an NVIDIA GeForce 7800 GTX. Fairly dated card. You know, I bought the computer back in 2005. I think it was 2005. It was top of the line back then. But it's still going strong for me. And uh, this particular card came with an adapter to output video to an external screen. It can even output to TV. So this adapter, I can output via S-Video and other connections. So what I've done is that I've connected this adapter and I'm outputting video via S-Video. And I go into the NVIDIA software and I set up, I set up a second monitor. You know how to do that in Windows, right? You right click, go to properties, you can set up dual displays. I set up one monitor here, my, my, my regular monitor on the DVI port. But my second monitor is going through that adapter. It's going out through S-Video, okay? So I have that set up and I have the software set to mirror displays. That means that whatever I see on this screen will actually be on the other screen at the same time. So I have mirror displays. So you can imagine my video cards outputting videos to two different displays. I have my monitor. So that second display is very, very important because that display is actually going into my Dazzle DVD Creator, which is the device that I use to stream. Okay, the Dazzle DVD Creator has an S-Video import. So I take S-Video out from my video card and I take an S-Video in into the Dazzle. So that's how I'm on my computer. I can reboot, I can do all kinds of things and it doesn't interrupt the stream because it's a more, more of a hardware solution than a software solution. Now, everybody doesn't have this kind of setup, but this is how I'm able to stream PC gaming relatively easy and without a lot of heartache. Now, audio, I'm running into a mixer. So I have audio output coming out from my PC into a mixer. I have all my audio going to a mixer and the mixer goes out to the stream. So that's how I handle audio. The Dazzles have been notoriously known to not stream audio to like Ustream, Just and Not TV, and other places, but they can capture audio with their own built-in Pinnacle software. All right, so that's the the crux of it. That's pretty much the entire setup. Now, this has less overhead than capturing a screen. Obviously, when you capture the screen, you're going to be reducing frames. You're going to be putting more workload on the computer. This is just outputting to a second monitor, so it's not a whole lot of overhead. More of the work is on the card than the computer. Um, the resolution I, I capture at is 1024 by 768. I can't go too high because it, it just messes up things when I go to the Dazzle. 1024 by 768 is what I use. Um, and I'm broadcasting on Justin.TV if you use Flash Media Encoder. That's what I'm using, Flash Media Encoder. And I'm broadcasting at 900 kilobits per second. Okay, because my upstream caps at like 2 kilobits per, 2 megabits per second, 2,000 kilobits per second. So I'm using about a little less than half of my upstream to broadcast. Now that's quite a bit of upstream. A lot of ISPs only give you like 512 kbps 
some give you one megabit up. I have two megabit up, so I can afford to go a little bit higher. So I hope I answered your question, Tucker. It's um, it's not really a window or full screen solution. It's more of a of a video card output to second display solution. Um, so hopefully that'll help you. Maybe you can mimic it. Maybe your video card can do it now. You just didn't know it. Because a lot of video cards come with these little adapters. You just plug things out and then you can go from there. All right, this is Warner from Boy.TV. Tucker, this is how you can broadcast Team Fortress 2. This is Justin.TV, you stream, Mobulus, or live stream, whatever you're called now, anywhere. Um, and have a pretty good setup. All right, take care.